This card has spiked over 350% and now people are getting their orders canceled. If someone decides to be greedy, chances are your order, it's going to be canceled. Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thank you again for hanging out with me today for another video. Now today's topic is kind of a touchy one for a lot of players because nobody likes to have their order cancelled after they've already made the purchase. To have your money refunded and then be under suspicion that they are reselling the card that you just purchased because they can get a higher price is never a good feeling. Now today's video we have a card that has spiked over 350% and it seems to have caused a whole bunch of orders to be cancelled. Now, let me share with you the card in case you didn't know, because a lot of you guys might be interested. This is Urabras Forge. This is from Phyrexia, all will be one. This card used to be like a $2 to $3 card, and as you can see, it's now on average of $13.99, which means it's risen about 350%. The market price may be $3.35, it is dipping a little bit now, but even a foil version is $22.10, and that's a lot of money. So what are we talking about in terms of what this card does, and why there may be a higher level of interest than is normal? Well, this card is an artifact that costs one red and two generic, and it says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put an oil counter on Urabras Forge. Then create an X slash one red Phyrexian horror token creature with trample and haste, where X is the number of oil counters on Urabras Forge. Sacrifice the token at the beginning of your next end step. So on turn one, this thing's a one one. Turn two, it's a two one, a three one, a four one. You know, when it gets to a six one, I kind of think of ball lightning. But this thing's just going to keep going, and it doesn't say legendary. So you can have four of these in your deck, and that means for modern players as well as standard players, this thing is quickly becoming a staple. Now, why is it becoming a staple? A lot of content creators recently have put this card out there as a card that is in budget format. Like, it doesn't cost a lot of money to get it, but that extra attention to this card has caused a whole bunch of sales to happen all at once. And some players who may not have even realized that this card is going up in value have had their orders canceled. So of players who bought it in the mid-range when it was like a seven, eight dollar card on the way up, they're still having their orders canceled. At first, I'll be honest, I thought this was a one-off. I got a couple of emails, I kind of looked into it, I said, yeah, it spiked up a lot. I had mentioned it in a video yesterday for Duskmorn. I just brought up as a little passing topic. It didn't make a card spike video about it because there's so many cards that are higher than it right now, especially with the poster cards from Lord of the Rings. And if you didn't see that stuff, you can go back and check a look, take a look at my uh, card spike video on that. But in this case, this card has caused quite a bit of harm to some players. This card has caused people to have orders canceled because the vendors realize they can sell it for a much higher price and a lot of players are suspecting that their orders are being canceled and they are being relisted at the higher price. Now, I'll be honest, this is mostly happening on TCG player. The emails I've received have all been related to TCG player sellers, but I want to be honest with everyone. We all know it is buyers and sellers. We have seen lots of circumstance in which sellers have had this issue. But we've also seen buyers who now have buyer's remorse, don't believe the cards are any good after seeing spoiler season, so they've canceled orders with LGSs. So it is a two-way street in how people treat each other, and there's always going to be a few individuals, a few bad rotten eggs on both sides of that fence that give everything like this a bad name, a bad spin on it, but it's still something to mention because depending on the seller's rating, the feedback, the platform in which you're using it, in this case, the emails came from TCG Player. So although I do have an affiliate link with this company, whenever you guys buy using my link, I get a kickback. It doesn't gonna, it's not gonna stop me from mentioning bad, bad habits from the company or from sellers on that format because we gotta be honest, we're not gonna hide things just because I have an affiliate link with that particular company. So what does this mean for you as a seller or as a buyer looking at these issues? Well, I would always make sure that you are comfortable with the person you're buying from. 
you've settled on a price, you really hope that person's going to keep it. And I know many of my friends who have had to go ahead and blacklist and just say, uh, scratching that one off the list, permanent black marker, eh, never using that company again on TCG Player. They've canceled my order, they sent the wrong card, they, they sent me a, a mislabeled condition card, especially for older cards, and they're just not gonna deal with it. They don't want the hassles of return, they want honesty, they want efficiency, they want the product that they're paying for. And it never feels good, again, to have that suspicion that you bought a card at five, six, seven bucks, three bucks, and then you find out two days later when it already should have shipped out that the card isn't coming and that it got canceled, you got your money refunded, and now you don't get the cards and you see now every copy that you want to buy is now 300% higher. It's 15 to 20 bucks and it drives you insane because you're like, I purchased this card. I've already bought it and my order got canceled. It's, it just, it leaves a bad taste in anyone's mouth. And that's why I said on both sides of the fence, because I've seen it happen with LGSs. And I've also seen it happen with um, sellers on TCG player, eBay. You run the gamut. There's always going to be a few bad actors who give you that bad impression of any platform, any circumstance. But I know my friends who will just say, nope, never buying from them again. And they list it themselves. We pass that name along all of us as like individuals and we keep that pretty tight and that way we know not to buy from those people again for higher end cards we go for the people with high feedback almost nothing wrong with anything they've ever sent because those people obviously care about customer satisfaction and they care about the customer that's buying from them i'm going to get a card quickly which is what i normally care about and i'm going to get stuff that i've actually ordered that being said when I watch this and I think about it as a, as a content creator and I see that a card spikes up always because don't forget a card like this in, in something like standard, you're going to be using it with like a caretaker's talent. You're going to, cause I've, I've thrown this deck together myself. You get the token every turn. You're drawing multiple cards. There's a real good appeal to card draw as well as beastie power. So I don't expect the actual need for this card to go down. So, Chances are anyone who owns this card is going to stay higher. But here's the question we all have to ask ourselves. Who's opening Phyrexia? All will be one at this point. Nobody. Nobody's cracking those boxes. So although a card like this is spiked, you are not going to see an arbitrage situation where players are going to go out there, buy all these boxes just to hopefully get that rare. It's not going to happen, which puts a strain on supply. It's going to keep the price higher than it should be. And it means that this is going to continue for quite a while. Yes, the price may go down, but don't expect it to dip below 10 bucks anytime soon, which means if it's a card you need, you may have to either wait a really long time or you're going to have to ante up the money, pony it up, buy the card at the higher price, just so you can use it and play it in a deck you want to enjoy. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope you guys take this content the way it's supposed to be meant, which is the good and bad on both sides. And I look forward to reading the comments. If you have a solution for this, if you think you know what's going to make this a better situation for buyers and sellers on whatever platform, including TCG Player, Card Market, wherever, eBay, put it down below. Share it with us. As the community of Magic players out there, we'd all like to see some good ideas. We're all willing to learn with our lives and get past past mistakes. So let's make it easier because somebody out there probably has a solution to this and hopefully everyone uses a little bit of thought and realizes that it's not one person, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that have this happen. All right, it's not this one person or a couple of people I got emails from. Over the last couple of years, I've had dozens of emails like this in any given six to eight month period asking me what, what, can, what can be done, what are the recourse actions. So hopefully someone here can list that down for us and give us a little bit of insight. Thanks again for hanging out. Thank you for hanging out with me, Moxman, on this channel. If you enjoyed today's content, if you liked hanging out with me, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. I put out new content every single day, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a great one. Shop smart, shop as smart. Hey guys, a big shout out and thank you to the fantastic patrons we have here on the channel supporting each and every day. Because of those patrons, daily uploaded content is made possible and available to everyone on YouTube. And I wouldn't be able to do this without the patrons supporting the YouTube membership members. You guys make it happen, so thanks again for believing in the Moxman. Guys, welcome back to the Ramble Jamble. Um, for those who made it this far in the video, I have moved the microphone that I use around a little bit. I wanted to see if I can get a better sound because it looks like 
when I watched yesterday's video, I didn't notice it until I had the volume higher, but it looks like there's some backdrop noise from the laptop because it's on this like, you know, it, it has a loud fan. I can't get the fan any quieter, so I've repositioned the microphone. So I'm just trying to work it out. You guys will let me know in the comments section. Um, right now it's a little bit higher than what it was in the video. So hopefully that will help things out. Now it's time to sip some coffee and get a dog hair out of the way. Ah, dog hair. So, <laughs> the idea of orders being canceled is a personal pet peeve of mine. Whether a store cancels it, a person on a platform, I hate it. I have had it happen for certain cars. Bog rats! <coughs> when I tried to order 150. I don't know why I need 150. That's not the point. Don't ask weird questions I don't have the answer to. They canceled my order because they didn't want to ship to Canada. Now you'd say, well, maybe they don't ship to Canada. I've had that happen where companies don't ship to Canada. But in this case, I'd ordered several things from this company before and never had a problem. But because my order probably wasn't big enough, they didn't want to ship it. So it made me a little bit annoyed. I've still used that company, but I did talk to them and say, hey man, I order a lot from you. Pay attention to it. I have lots of stuff on my channel going on all the time. So anyway, it's improved since then. They still didn't send me the bog rats. They said they didn't have them in stock anymore. So I kind of know what people are talking about. And since then, it seems like they only have eight or nine at a time, not the 150 they had up that one day. So it annoys me. But anyway, past all that point, this is an issue that's not going to have an easy resolution on anybody's side, whether it's the seller, the buyer, or the platform that you're trading off of and using as the medium between the buyer and seller. It's been a real annoyance for a lot of players over the last couple of years. They need to tighten down a little bit. I think... I think there has to be more of an accountability on both parties to have these solutions put in place by the mediating party, which is whatever platform you're using, because it gets really annoying really quick. So there has to be consequences when one or the other cancels. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys drop some comments. Let me know. Let me know how the microphone here went as I moved a little bit closer. It's right here. You can't see it right now, but it's usually up here. I brought it over here because I was trying to get away from the laptop. So we'll see. You got to be honest. I'm trying to move this around, make it better for you, for you. My patrons, the members who make it to the Ramble Jamble at the end. I know there's some regular viewers who make it too. Welcome to the party. <laughs> guys, have a great one. You guys are awesome.